Our students are 100% of color and all low income and 100% going to college after they graduate from our high school. But we were seeing that uh, they weren't going into STEM fields after they left. So over the past couple of years, we've been trying to change a number of things that we're doing internally so that more students would feel better prepared to go into science, technology, engineering, and math. The first group of seniors that had experienced some of these improvements in STEM education here 56% of them indicated before graduation that they are planning to major in STEM. And last year it was 58%. And so those were the first groups that had a connection to Seton Hall, who were able to do research with professors on campus. And they were the first ones also to encounter new courses that we introduced like AP Chemistry, AP Computer Science, and Engineering. I grew up in Newark, like all the North Star students. I didn't have this kind of opportunity when I was a kid. I was interested in science. I saw it on TV, it looked like something really neat, but it looked like something that wasn't attainable. And what I think this program does, and the reason I'm very interested in participating in it, is because it gives them uh, an opportunity to see what scientists do, and gives them an opportunity to see that it's something that even a kid from Newark, with all the potential, potential you have there to go in many directions, some negative, some positive, that you can be a scientist and you can do that. This is my second year uh, joining this great project. So I actually interact with um, six North Star students last year as well. And one of the North Star students actually attend, decide to come to Seton Hall and become a nursing major. So I was actually very excited about that when she made her decision. And um, so I, I told her that I will probably see her in intro to micro classes. Today was a day when our North Star students, these are seniors at the North Star Academy in Newark, who are preparing to teach the students at the fourth grade at Our Lady of Peace Academy. The underlying idea behind this uh, interaction was to give the North Star students some experience teaching a science lesson. These are students that Seton Hall has been working with uh, on a project similar to the project that the high school students are working with, using the tower garden, this uh, indoor garden that you can uh, grow in the classroom uh, as a way to get students interested in science. It's important to introduce science experiences and experiments and concepts early on because what we're trying to do in education is build a foundation of knowledge and experiences that can be enhanced in the upper grades um, without having basic principles, it's hard to teach them a lot of new vocabulary and, and concepts without that. Because we learn new things by building what we already know. So we were partnered with North Star um, Academy in Newark through Seton Hall University. And it was a wonderful relationship that has developed because the students in North Star are interested in the areas of STEM are interested in possibly going into the fields of education as they promote themselves into the college level. And our students are very eager to learn from different um, individuals and different uh, teachers. And they, the North Star Academy students went from being the students to being the teachers when they came to our school. Working with the North Star students has been a delight. This is the new generation. Th these are the people that I hope to see uh, in my classroom. They are uh, incredibly gifted. They are ready to do everything, all the assignments, all the tasks that I've asked them to do, they're ready to do it. And that's, that's uh, very exciting for me. The thing that strikes me the most is just the sense of commitment in the sense that uh, the students are willing to go the extra mile to come and see me at a university on a regular basis on a Friday afternoon uh, to engage in an extracurricular activity that is sometimes frustrating but just their, their willingness and their attitude to move through this with grace and equanimity is, uh, and charm is incredibly impressive to me. And, um, I just uh, today invited them over for dinner after, <laughs> after all this is over. I want them to come to my apartment with my wife and, and I'm going to make them pasta. <laughs>
What we like to do is identify problems and then solve them. And this was a big one for us because for almost 10 years, our high school graduates were not going into this area. And now they are. They identify that they feel more confident. We have students heading off to Cornell, to MIT, to Yale, to Princeton, pursuing pre-med programs, engineering programs. And that is a new achievement for us. And for our students, it just, it's opening up a whole new set of doors that, they, that have been closed to them. And that, we feel, is a significant accomplishment. And their success with the Seton Hall professors, and then subsequently on campus, on campuses of their own, is showing our other students that this is very possible. So there already is a trickle-down effect to our underclassmen about what the possibilities are for them and, and what their futures can look like, because they, they don't see models of students like themselves going into these STEM fields all the time. So we're creating our own models and creating our own pathway for them to do it so that it seems realistic and fun and interesting for them.